crisis. Tension looms. What is about to happen as Tinubu's government on brinks of another crisis? So guys, let's hear the details as we quickly take the details of the report. The administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu find itself on edge as tensions rise from a controversial bill that has ignited widespread outrage across Nigeria. This development comes on the heels of the recently concluded Ed Band Governance Protest, which underscored the deep-seated dissatisfaction many Nigerians feel towards the government. The potential for a fresh wave of protests looms large, driven by concerns over a proposed bill that seeks to impose harsh penalties on those who refuse to recite the national anthem or destroy national symbols. At the heart of this brewing unrest, it is a bill currently under consideration by Nigeria's House of Representatives. The proposed legislation, championed by Speaker Tajuddin Abbas, seeks to impose severe penalties on individuals who fail to recite the national anthem or who are found guilty of destroying national symbols, especially the bill outlines a fine of 5 million naira or up to 10 years imprisonment or both of them, for any offenders that violates this bill. This bill has sparked significant controversy, with critics urging that it represents a draconian attempt to stifle dissent and infringe upon the fundamental right of Nigerian citizens. The Take It Back movement, a prominent rights advocacy group known for its role in the end bad governance protest, has been particularly vocal in his oppositions. The organization has vowed to mobilize Nigerians for a nationwide protest if the bill is passed into law, citing concerns that it poses a direct threat to democracy and civil liberties in the country. In a statement released on Wednesday, the Take It Back movement made it clear that they vehemently reject the proposed bill signed by the national coordinator of the organization, Jouun Sai Yolu. The statement described the bill as a blatant violation of Nigeria's constitutional rights. The movement urged that rather than focusing on punitive measures, the government should address the root causes of the social and political discord that have plunged the country. The bill should be discarded and not be passed into law, the statement reads. Rather, the government should direct their efforts 
toward tackling the underlying factors that contribute to discord and strife within the Nigeria as a nation. The movement also highlighted the significant public backlash against the bill, noting that many Nigerians view it as an attempt to stifle free expression and dissent. In their statement, the Take It Back movement vowed to protest the democratic rights of Nigerians, even if it means taking to the street in protest, and that they will stop at nothing to protect whether and whatever is left for Nigerian democracy right. As Nigerians, the statements continued, including mobilization Nigerians to the street if this draconian bill is not withdrawn immediately. Recall recent decision by President Bola Hamed Tinibu to sign into law a bill that revert Nigeria's national attempt to an old version has been up for debate for over two months now. The attempts, which begin with the words, Nigeria, we hail thee, was originally written by Lillian Jane Williams in 1959 and composed by Francis Bada. This version was replaced in 1978 by a new item under a military government and its re-adoption has sparked a heated debate. President Bola Tinibu, speaking on the occasion of his first anniversary in office, defended the decision to revert to the old item, urging that it symbolizes Nigeria's diversity and historical heritage. However, many Nigerians have questioned the timing and priorities of this move, especially given the pressing socio-economic challenges facing Nigeria as a country. So guys, how do you see to this issue? Please kindly drop your comment on the comment section below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss channel. Thank you.